Hey guys, I'm back with a tutorial video on how to make this beautiful, lovely flower. Now the middle fell off of this flower, but it's still gonna look good when we recreate it. Some materials you'll need is you need about, you're going to need some three inch ribbon. I have four pieces that are about this long. I don't really know the exact measurements, but try to do your best to make it about that long. I also have these ribbons that are a little bit smaller. I have a lot of these because I didn't really count how many I needed, but you're going to need about six. I also have my scissors. I have my needle, thread, put that so safe keeping. Have my lighter, fire. And I have my glue stick because these are too fat for my tiny little glue gun. So first you're going to take the four longer pieces and you're going to make them into a triangle shape. So taking the first one, put it back like this, and take the other piece and do the same thing. So it should look like this. So now taking your needle and thread, which I'll grab right now, you're going to take the side with the hole in it. You're gonna make this side face you. So taking your needle and thread, you're just gonna sew across. And gather it together to look like like this. This is our first flower petal. Gathering that out of the way. Once again, you're going to fold it, fold it back like this, and then just sew across. And you're going to do this to all four pieces. This is going to be the first flower that goes on top of the bigger flower. Okay, I just finished all four petals and they should look pretty close to something like this. So now bring them together to make a full circle-ish thing, aka the flower, making them look like this. Taking your needle and thread, you'll take this petal and sew it to the next one so that it stays together. Now you check out your work. Looking pretty good. So now to finish it off, do a couple extra, a couple extra sewing just to make sure that it's not gonna come loose. If some petals look taller than the other, you could either one start over or just sew it to make it look like they're the same size. There we go. Now we have our flower. So tying the flower in the back just completes our first flower. Snip, snip, snip. There, first flower. This will be the flower that goes on top of the larger flower that we're getting ready to create. So heading out to the side, you take these slightly smaller ones, as the smaller ones will make the bigger flower. You need about six of them, so let's see, one, two, So I guess I have the exact right amount. Look at that. How convenient that is. So basically, you do the same thing that you did with the first flower. Curve the one end like this, and curve the other end like this. And just like we did with the first flower, take your needle, make sure the side of the hole is facing you as you sew. And then you sew together. Oops. Fix that up. And like this. You may notice that this one does, looks a little smaller compared to these ones, but that's only because it's going to be making a bigger flower. So once again, fold it like this, make it line up. 
So basically, you're just making all the petals into a triangle. Side with the holes facing you. Also, a little side note, also make sure that the shinier side is on the outside and that the more dull side is on the inside. The same thing with ribbons that are have a theme to it. Make sure the side that's more dull is on the inside. So basically, just do this with the rest of your four ribbons. Okay, taking my last one, folding it like a triangle, and stitching it on. I already have a ring of flowers already on my needle, as I did this off screen. Okay, so now gather all the flower petals like this, and fold them. Now, as I said earlier, we will be layering this flower. So if this one does appear smaller than your original one, you can put this one on top. The larger one always goes on the bottom. That might be the case with this one. It might be a little bit smaller than I intended, but that's okay. Because it's always good to have a backup plan. Here we go, we have our little flower. Now, I always pierce it in the middle and then tie the knot in the back so that it is not noticeable. Which is what I'm going to do. Okay, I'll take our lovely scissors. So now we have our two flowers. This one, in my case, this flower is actually the, the smaller one. So you could also do it like this as well. Even though in my original plan, this one, the bottom one, was bigger. But it's always okay to have different views on things. So because my hot glue gun is too small, I'm gonna get risky over here. So, separating the two flowers, I'm going to take my hot glue stick and my lighter. My light, there we go. And I'm just gonna slightly light the glue stick until it eventually melts enough to put it on the bow to connect these two. Fire's going out. Please don't die. I died. Okay. So now, rubbing it on the flower. A tip of advice, this probably isn't the best idea, but if you have a glue gun, you should definitely probably use a glue gun. There we go. It would look really good with a middle, so I should dig into my magic box in order to find one. Alrighty. Found some buttons. Let's see which button this is. So these buttons aren't the most colorful, but they're gonna have to do. Just taking this flower. I actually really like buttons. When I was younger, I used to collect buttons just for fun because, you know, they're buttons. So this is the button I have chosen. It kinda looks like a coin. Taking my lighter and my glue stick again. I'm out some of the glue. It's taking forever. There we go. I slide it on there really quick. And then I place down my button. There we go. So, thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to see more content like this, feel, please feel free to like and subscribe. Okay, bye now.